Good evening. In this tutorial, we're going over poison ivy, which worked out considering I already have red hair. Now this poison ivy look isn't actually accurate to one specific poison ivy because I took inspiration from a couple different comics and a couple different of the cartoons. All the products that you say will listed somewhere around the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. I'm starting off by mixing together white and green body paint to cover my face, neck, and chest. This look is fairly simple to cosplay, especially if you're just starting out. I'm then taking the Made You Look angled brush and green eyeshadow and contouring my cheeks as well as outlining my face. I'm also covering my ears because I wanted them to be a little bit darker than they were and also contouring around my collarbone. To make it seem like my collarbone is sticking out a bit more, I'm using a green highlighter, which technically is just green metallic eyeshadow. I'm then using my favorite white shiny highlighter and highlighting the bridge of my nose, the tops of my cheeks, as well as a little bit above my eyebrows and above my lips. Seems excessive, looks nice. Go ahead and apply eye primer. I'm then using that same white highlighter and highlighting the inner part of my eyes as well as underneath my brows. At this point, I feel like lettuce. <laughs> I'm still laughing. <laughs> Poison lettuce. Terrifying and great in salad, even though I don't eat salad. I'm then applying light green shadow to my lid and in my crease. Using a second brush as a guide, I'm gonna give myself a cat eye shape and I'm taking a bluish green color and adding that to my outer corners. To deepen this up, I'm then taking black eyeshadow and outlining underneath my lower lash line just a smidgen and filling in that outer V while blending out. A Little bit of Lexorcist. Line your eyes using a pencil liner and then I'm doing the cat eye using the liquid night owl eyeliner. Black eyebrows, like villain eyebrows, are always my favorite, my favorite eyebrows. I'm filling them in thinner than my natural brows and also arching them about the same, about the same as my regular brows, but I'm not quite giving them that much of a tail. I then, I filled my lips in like a million different greens and I just was not getting a dark enough green, so I ended up using body paints. So I'm filling in my lips using dark green body paint mixed with a little bit of black. I'm then outlining the edges of my lips using black body paint. You can also apply false lashes if you want. For all the vines, I'm using dark green body paints and a lip brush. I started out making all the poison ivy leaves using metallic green body paint, but then I switched over to a dark green body paint on top of that. Just so these leaves don't look as flat, I'm filling it in with a dark green body paint as well as a lime green body paint. To actually make these leaves look three-dimensional, I'm then taking gray eyeshadow and outlining underneath the leaves. For some of them, I'm kind of making a second leaf underneath that, very lightly. To make them pop even more, I'm also going back in with black eyeshadow and just darkening up right against the leaves. This is where the shadow will be cast the darkest. You're certified nuts a wine in 12 states and you're hopelessly in love with the psychopathic clown. Hey, Puddin! 